So as you can see, God mode is off. And now with the new... Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. In this video, I want to be talking about custom caves in Rust Edit. And I'm going to be doing something that I didn't plan on doing, which is referring to an older video that I made on how to add custom caves. And it's been doing pretty well and not a lot of dislikes. So the information that I'm giving out uh, seems to be good. And it's still 99% accurate. There's just one little extra step you have to do now to make it work because people were using this to uh, exploit the game. Once you go through this video, if you look to the chapters, um, I explain how to build the entrance, how to take out the terrain and how to make sure that you go and can go through the terrain, how you can add the floor of the caves and make the roof and the surroundings, etc. We're going to encompass whatever red town we have fully with it. So you see me surround the whole red town with a terrain trigger so that the loot spawns inside of the red town under the terrain instead of upstairs at the terrain. If you watch the video, you will understand what I mean. But nowadays you will have to add that terrain trigger everywhere where people are walking. Otherwise, as soon as you go inside of the terrain, like I said, because of an exploit, you now instantly die if you don't have god mode when you go inside of the terrain. So we're going to go into Rust Edit. We're going to basically pick off where I left here. And then we're going to do the little changes. And then you should be able to fully make custom maps in 2020 that don't kill you. So we are where we left off. We got the terrain trigger over here to cut through the terrain. And we have the warehouse here in the back with the terrain trigger around it. I'm going to go in game and see what happens when I try to run in this. We are at the entrance of the cave. We can look in. When we run in, it just gets dark. And if we stay in here and it stays dark because this is we're inside of the terrain trigger. Then if we go in here, oh, closer. There you go. And you can see because of the train trigger that the loot is also here, down here, instead of upstairs at the train. So that seems to be all working. But the issue is that I currently have God Mode on. So if I turn off God Mode and if I walk inside now, you see that I instantly die. As soon as I am outside, inside of the train and I'm not inside of a train trigger, you instantly get killed. What we have to do is make sure that the train trigger is encompassing everywhere where people are going to walk. So let's go back into Rust Edit and let's fix that. So what I did, I took that terrain trigger and I just made it way longer. As you can see over here, it goes all the way to the front. And I also deleted that one train trigger that was here in the middle. Once again, sorry for the low FPS. It doesn't like my OBS recording and Rust Edit at the same time. But let's dive into the game and see what this does for us. And now with the long uh, single terrain trigger, you can see that as soon as I, as long as I stay inside, everything is dark and I can just walk in here and everything is fine. But as soon as I try to walk outside of it, which we cannot see when it is, but we'll definitely notice because you die. So like I said, make sure that you put the train trigger everywhere where people can be walking inside of your custom caves and that should prevent them from getting insta-killed without having god mode on. I hope this was helpful. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the Rust extension which you will need for electricity and some um, custom map aspects. This is a pretty important part. So that's why I think it should be important that we dive into it next. If this was helpful in any way, please subscribe, like the video. As always, thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.